everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's video. Before we get started, make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature, toolbox safety topic videos, and other safety related videos. This week's topic is on system induced accountability. The following is an excerpt from Forbes magazine written by Henry Browning in 2012. Don't you love employees who go above and beyond? They take responsibility, show initiative, and really own their projects, process, and problems. Somewhere along the line, they learn that good things happen when you are accountable. But it's largely up to us, their leaders, to be sure they don't have a change of heart. But you say, accountability is intrinsic. You can't force people to be accountable. True, but we learn from people around us. When the work environment is designed for accountability, it will flourish. When it's not, you'll get stellar work from a few people until they stop making the effort or leave for another job. An accountable workplace won't appear overnight, but the right elements must be in place. The question is where do you need to invest your time and attention to build an environment of accountability? One of the first things is to develop clear roles, team leadership, and individual ownership. People struggle to be accountable when roles and processes are ambiguous. Removing as much confusion as possible about who is doing what and how they will proceed is an important step. If a team is truly accountable, members will identify gaps, learn new ro roles and processes, and ultimately build a more capable team. Another thing is a sense of ownership for team results. How does team accountability work? Focus on team processes. How is the team working towards goals and outcome? Are team members effective? Do they feel 100% accountable to improving the process? Each member should have the obligation to seek information, give and receive feedback, and point out the need for corrective action at any time. Then there has to be freedom, support, and control to navigate competing priorities. Most problems have multiple right answers, so give people the freedom and control they need to make decisions. The first solutions your teams and direct reports come up with will probably be pretty good. Improve upon them instead of inserting your own. Support is the key. Be sure people have the resources, knowledge, and assistance they need. With this approach, team members increase their skills, confidence, and ownership. Remember, it's not about punishment. If your goal is fostering accountability is to know who to punish when revenue targets are not met or budgets are missed, you will only succeed in creating fear. No one will be willing to step up, speak out, or try something new. Innovation and risk taking will be lost. Once the rumor mill of an organization circulates a story of someone stepping out and being punished, hundreds, even thousands of other employees will be skittish about taking initiative to find solutions. It's about improvement. Accountability is the foundation for creating a learning organization. If you want sustainable, high quality processes, you need to be able to see what's working and what isn't and analyze the cause. To that end, each person needs to honestly say what they knew, what they thought, and what they did or didn't do. One important thing you can do is support a learning atmosphere is to take a systems approach as well as holding individuals accountable. Seek to understand what aspects of the situation have influenced the process, system, culture, or circumstances. 
Then you have to determine the expectations of the evaluation. In an accountable organization, no one expects to stay under the radar. In fact, people seek feedback because they know it's intended to improve the process and add to their knowledge. These organizations use multiple forms of feedback and evaluation to assess the health and success of a manager, process, or department. Organizations lacking multiple feedback mechanisms only discover shortcomings when it's too late. Finally, integrity counts. People are called out if they don't do what they say they will do. When anyone falls short, they admit it and work to improve. Someone consistently falling short, a sure sign of low commitment and a clue that something is missing in your culture of accountability. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature along with toolbox safety topic videos and other safety related videos. And until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your coworkers and help ensure their safety. Have a grateful day. And remember, I will see you in the field.